My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, my thoughts on politics, sports, a whole bunch of things, go to counterpropa.com. My latest article, Hillary Clinton 2020 is a reality. Get ready for eight years of Trump is below. And that's in Counterpropa. That's also in the Huffington Post. And Yahoo picked it up as well. I'm going to read you something right now that if you are interested in what happened to Michael Flynn, General Michael Flynn today, and it's all over the news, I'm going to read you something that far overshadows that, far greater risk to national security, especially in terms of the Clinton Foundation and the FBI criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton. Take a screenshot of this New York Times article. I know I'm being a little bit paranoid, but take a screenshot. It's below. It's fantastic. It's one of the occasions the Times engages in journalism and not public relations for Hillary. As the Russians gradually assumed control of Uranium One in three separate transactions from 2009 to 2013, Canadian records show a flow of cash made its way to the Clinton Foundation. Uranium One's chairman used his family foundation to make four donations totaling $2.35 million. Those contributions were not publicly disclosed by the Clintons. Despite an agreement Mrs. Clinton had struck with the Obama White House to publicly identify all donors. Other people with ties to the company made donations as well. Okay, 20%, this is during the sale of 20% of U.S. uranium to the Kremlin, to Putin to Vladimir Putin. And shortly after, this is the most important thing you'll hear all day pertaining to this fabricated nonsense about Russian hacking. And shortly after the Russians announced their intention to acquire a majority stake in Uranium One, Mr. Clinton received $500,000 from, from a Moscow speech for a Moscow speech from a Russian investment bank with links to the Kremlin that was promoting Uranium One stock, a company that sold 20% of U.S. uranium to the Kremlin. This is the New York Times. So nobody can say fake news. Oh, God, if just those 70 plus pe thousand people, if they just knew in the, in the Rust Belt and Wisconsin and the, uh, the states that Hillary lost, if they just knew, if they just didn't listen to fake news, they would know Madam Secretary's so much better. They would have voted for her. This is not fake news. This is real news from the New York Times. $500,000 from a Moscow speech. With a to, from a Russian investment bank with links to the Kremlin that was promoting uranium one stock. Share the New York Times article below. Take screenshots of it. I don't know what you have to do to ensure that if they take that down, you at least have a copy of the original New York Times article. It's titled, Cash Flow to Clinton Foundation Amid Uranium Deal. New York Times. April 23rd, 2015. That's the story of today. Not General Flynn being unfairly forced to resign. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.